Hello everyone. <laughs> oh, what do I look like? I posted on my story last week a Q&A on all things wedding and I'm going to answer a few questions whilst getting ready. So whilst we're on the topic of face masks, one of the questions was night before skin care prep. Always do a face mask the night before and just before the event. I find that really, really helps my skin hold all the product it needs to hold, to be honest. It keeps it looking fresh, hydrated, ultra lift, Garnier sheet mask. I bought the 111 skin masks for my, um, the day before the wedding. I bought them and got to the till, realised how much they were and melted. So I had to buy them, I was too embarrassed. Um, I used one on the day of the wedding. Yes, my skin looked flawless. Are they worth the money? No, absolutely not. Stick to what you know, Garnier Ultra Lift sheet masks, fantastic. Oh. Ooh, absolutely gorgeous. Right, next question. How did you find planning it with such little time? Stunning, by the way, thanks, babes. That is really lovely. Choosing a venue was another question. So, originally, Jodie and I were going to get married in the south of France in a lovely place called Ez. I'm just using Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream now to prep my skin. And um, things went on and we were unable to travel and it was just causing so many delays to our big day that we decided to get married here. Essentially, if you get married abroad, you have to get married in the UK anyway. So we would have had to have done a registry wedding. So we had a whole registry wedding planned for the 2nd of the 2nd, 2022. We were going to get married in the Marlebone registry office. And then we were going to have our reception at Scott's. And then we were going to get married in France. So it'd be this summer. So when I worked out all the pricing and how much everything was going to cost and being able to get everybody to the south of France, it just didn't really make sense. We wanted something really intimate anyway. So we decided to go for a London venue and do the whole thing in one day. Once you've used Charlotte Tilbury, I'm using the Embryolisse Le Creme Concentrat. Concentrat? I've got something there. It's lucky, don't get that stuff in your eye, it really hurts. We went on a couple of hotel hunting adventures uh, I found an amazing website called A Day to Remember, which lists every hotel in London, or I don't know if it's just London, but everywhere, where they tell you whether they have a license for weddings. We found a couple, we went to look at the Mandarin. Oh, I think it was the Grosvenor. We looked at loads of places. We looked at the Corinthia, and we just fell in love with the room, to be honest. It was absolutely perfect. I loved everything about it. I found the venue over the summer, I think it was September actually, that I decided to go ahead with the venue. And I'm using W7 Low Prime um, Primer. This stuff is the balm. I would never not use this on anyone or any, any time, any time. We just had our heart set on the Corinthia um, and it was perfect for our intimate wedding. I found it really easy planning it with such little time because I knew what I wanted and I'm somebody that's really fussy and also somebody that can become quite easily influenced if I see something else and it happened a few times my dress was probably the biggest thing I want to talk about my dress in a minute but I did what I did one thing with my dress and I was like actually no I don't want that anymore or I'd see something else and think oh I want it like that instead so that's probably my biggest bit of advice is to stick in your... Can I help you? Why are you vlogging about me, cuz? <laughs> it's not about you today. I find sometimes that when I'm under pressure, I work better. For me, I just wanted to get married. That was all I wanted. I just wanted a big day and to just... In... I just wanted to be a Connolly. That was it. I just wanted to marry Jodie and just do it. Doorbell's ringing. Jade! No, oh, you can hear it, sorry. What did I order? Two boxes. It's the sweets! Sprites. The sweets! It's my chocolate eclairs! Calm down. Fucking hell, woman. Sprites! <laughs> <laughs> can you open them? And no, just no. leave them there. So grumpy all the time. 
goodness, right. Oh my god. What did you get, Dave? <gasps> Thank you. Bye. Bye. Now that the skin prep is done, I'm gonna do my eyes first. It's the W7 concealer. As always, I don't use any other concealers. They're all overpriced and nowhere near as good. I'm gonna do quite a bold eye this evening. I might even use a bit of shimmer, glitter or something. Who knows? What would you recommend doing slash booking to make the wedding extra fun? Hmm, that's a really good question. Pixie palette and some of the Anastasia and Rezi, I just love the browns in this. To do a sort of smoky dark eye. The exciting part, of our day was definitely the entertainment. We had a live singer, we had a guy on an electric violin, keyboard guy as I walked in, um, which was actually the most beautiful part of the day. Oh, we had a photo booth. The photo booth was just brilliant. The photo booth was a company called King of the Booth and they do that filter like what the Kardashians have. So our pictures were all gorgeous. Bongos, so many different things that you can do in terms of entertainment. Oh, saxophone, we had a saxophone as well in the reception. I feel like I didn't actually get to enjoy any of the entertainment because I missed so much of it. Jodie and I went and had some time on our own as I was having my hair change um, whilst the saxophonist was on. So we missed that. But other than that, it's really personal choice. But entertainment really is an important part of the day because it really gets the atmosphere going and the mood as a whole. Just applying this liner, it's a Maybelline Tattoo Liner Smoky, and this stuff is just amazing. It's honestly one of the best liners I've ever used and it stays on forever. Someone asked, what suite did you stay in at the Corinthia? We stayed in the Hamilton suite, which was it was traditionally a bridal suite because everything's white and it's so beautiful. It was absolutely gorgeous. We got the night, the first night free in our wedding package. And then if you want to stay after that, you have to pay. Um, so that was kind of annoying, but we didn't have a honeymoon straight away. So we thought we would spend that money to stay there another night and it was absolutely worth it. Um, but just be careful when booking because there's lots of additional fees that you find out about later on we weren't aware of. So I'm just using peaches and cream pigment on the inside of my eye. This is called Chainmail. I'm gonna lift the camera up so you can see it in the light. Look at that. Obviously I need to blend it out still, but it is popping. It looks gorgeous. Did you have a wedding perfume or a specific scent you wanted just for your big day? Yes. I actually wore Louis Vuitton Le Sable Rose. Le, le Sable Roses. Belle French, okay. Don't come for me unless I send for you. Okay, one of the questions was, can we see the cake? Let me tell you about the cake while I do my skin. The cake, for me, I thought was the most irrelevant part of the day. I thought, why the hell am I gonna spend a thousand pounds on a cake and do all this for what? What was the reason? What was the reason I ended up getting a cake three days before the wedding for 150 quid. I'm using NARS Barcelona with a bit of the new light reflecting and Stromboli mixed in. Okay, ignore my eyes as I'm yet to blend. The finish on both of these foundations is absolutely glorious. I've just used the last legs of my W7 hideout concealer. It's literally dead. Another question was about shoes, okay. Wear your shoes in before you go anywhere. My feet were blistered to hell. I mean, if you imagine, you are literally on your feet all day. Party feet, compede, whatever you've got, do it. Go for it. Because the next day, I could barely walk. I'm using W7 HD concealer for my contour like padding that into my skin lots of people ask me like what my favorite part of the day was it's funny you know my favorite part of the whole day was just before i was walking in get married into the ceremony and like, my bridesmaids were all in front of me my sister and Liv were first or was it amy and i can't remember amy and m first and i could just remember being at like the back of the line and all the girls turned around being like i love you 
you're gonna do so great i'm so proud of you you look amazing and everyone's like crying really overcome with emotion i'm gonna use l'oreal true match now and i can just remember my dad next to me going oh this must be what it feels like walking out at wembley good bit of advice I would give to anyone planning a wedding, not letting your guests make the day about them. In the morning I had messages of people cancelling or like changing their mind and I was thinking, oh my God, like that is so rude and it really wound me up and I thought, you know what? Today is not about anybody else. All that matters today is that Jodie and I get married and we just have the best day ever. Like in the lead up as well, you know, people will be funny, people will make comments and people will just be generally jarring. Do not let that get to you. And I think as soon as you have that attitude of not worrying what other people think, like we said no kids at the wedding, like fundamentally no kids, and people get really offended. It's like, I don't want your kids screaming. Sorry, it's my wedding day. This is the NARS orgasm in like a little lipstick lid thing. I love this as a highlight and blush looks so pretty so during the day we had two photographers our first photographer was great um but my biggest piece of advice is make sure you have a conversation with your photographer to make sure that you get absolutely every shot that you want and sort of expect you to tell them what to do when really we needed that direction because there was so many pictures missing that we really wanted to have from the day which we never got which was a shame in the evening molly did our photos and she was absolutely amazing she was really able to capture the whole essence of the day which was literally love that our whole day was just about happiness and love and just together forever so wedding hair oh my god right so i used a lady called brooke I'm using the MAC Stack Mascara, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, she was incredible. She managed to fit me in literally the week before the wedding. I was certain that I was gonna do my own hair just because I couldn't find anything or anyone to get it right. And I didn't want it up because I hate my hair up. And then she just managed to pull it together. She was just brilliant. We did two different looks. We started off with a low bun and a few bits forward. And then later on, I went and did a hair change, which was great, and had my hair down for later on in the evening, which I'm glad I did. But at the same time, top tip, make sure you are carrying a hairbrush and a lip gloss. That was my biggest regret of the day because in the photos, I literally have no lipstick on, like foundation lips, and my hair is a mess from where people kept putting their arm around me. My makeup is nearly done. I'll show you. Gorgeous. And the most requested question is about my dress. Uh, everybody wants to know about my dress. So I searched high and low for a decent bridal shop. Um, most of them were absolute crap. I then came across Pronovas on Bond Street. They looked after me, they were amazing. Initially, they told me that I wouldn't be able to have the dress that I wanted due to time frame. So I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. I knew that I wanted something high neck because I wanted it to be similar to my mum's when she got married. And they told me that I wouldn't be able to have that and that they were sorry. So I said, okay, that's fine. Anyway, I then got quite friendly with one of the seamstresses there. She was amazing. And all of a sudden I just kept saying, oh, you know, in the high neck, the high neck. And we did it designed the whole thing myself. I did all the lace placement, everything. I knew exactly what I wanted and they just did it perfectly. So then they made the jacket for me, which was then attached with press studs to my own dress. Um, we spent hours trying to work out the exact lace placement and everything and it just worked. We just managed to pull it off and it was perfect. Another piece of advice, do not invite people just because you think they should be at your wedding. Invite people that only you are happy to spend that kind of money on them. I mean, our wedding was very expensive, um, but it was worth every penny. We had the best day of our lives. However, I wouldn't have spent what it cost per head on somebody I didn't like. So if you weren't invited to my wedding, 
So I said, oh, to be honest. I would say save money on things that you know you're not gonna keep. For example, my flowers, I had faux flowers everywhere. I made my bridesmaids bouquets and my own. I don't even know where my one is now. It got lost, sadly. I made sure that my girls' ones were fake so that they could keep them forever and have that as a little memento. Um, and also I would never have wasted that many flowers on one day. I think it's actually quite rude. I'm not even a vegan, but even I know that's like bad for the environment and shit. I'm using a No Not Co um, brush. I don't know what this one's called, but it is my favorite brush for extensions. It literally detangles and is brilliant for styling. And I'm using HJ Lashes. HJ Lashes in style Play For Keeps. So I've applied the lashes and I've lifted them slightly on the ends to create that real cut eye look. And then I'm gonna blend a little bit with a liner and some mascara. But these are quite big, so if you don't like big, don't buy them. Finally ready. And I think my final passing comment on getting married is, just enjoy it. Make sure you have plenty of memories. Don't sweat the small stuff and don't let anybody else ruin a day for you. Don't spend money on things for no reason. After all, getting married is quite a poor investment. It's just one day. Especially if you don't make the right memories, it will feel like, why did I do this? It's a coming together of you and the person you love the most. And that is what is most important. Jode? What? How do I look? Do I look nice, babe? Yeah, you're lovely. Thanks. Sexy. <laughs> Can you get Uber, please? Can you get the Uber? That, that is marriage.